evaluate the value of the unknown variable in the equation. Let's start by substituting in our known variable, z equals 12. So we have 3y equals 6 all over a denominator of the square root of 2. Instead of z, we would put 2 times 12, because z and 12 are equivalent, plus 1. So before we're able to isolate y, we need to resolve everything that's underneath this radical. You can treat radicals as if they're their own set of parentheses for the sake of order of operations. So first we need to resolve 2 times 12, which would give us 24, and then that plus 1 stays. Then 24 plus 1 would give us 25, and there is a square root of 25. That square root is equal to 5, right, because 5 times 5 gives us 25. So now this number is our new denominator. Let's rewrite the equation. 3y equals 6 over 5. Now we can begin to isolate y. Let's start by getting rid of 3. 3 is being multiplied to y, so we need to do the opposite and divide both sides by 3. These 3's are going to cancel, leaving us with y equals, let's pull this division problem out to the side because we're dealing with fractions, 6 over 5 divided by 3 over 1. Anytime we're dividing with fractions, we're actually multiplying by the reciprocal, or doing something called keep, change, flip, where we keep our first fraction, change to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. 6 times 1 gives us 6, 5 times 3 gives us 15, so our final answer is y equals 6 over 15, except we still need to simplify this fraction. So let's divide both the top and the bottom by the greatest common factor of 3. 6 divided by 3 would give us 2 on the top, and then 15 divided by 3 would give us 5 on the bottom, making b our correct answer.